Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain you the concept of blocking and non-blocking assignment. And we will try to see a code of swiping using blocking and non-blocking assignment. As it is very frequently asked interview question, we will try to do simulation of this question. Before moving to the topic, let's have a little bit discussion on what blocking and non-blocking assignments all of, is all about. Now see, the first point it says that right hand side is evaluated and immediately assigned to the left hand side. Whereas in non-blocking assignment, right hand side is evaluated in active region, whereas the left hand side is updated in NBA region. We will see this point by Verilog event scheduler. Now see here the blocking assignment is executed in active region. Left hand side and right hand side both happen in active region. Whereas the right hand side of this uh, right, right hand side of non blocking assignment is happen in active region whereas the updation of that right left hand side of non blocking assignment is updated in nba region of event scheduler okay now the second point says that one statement block the execution of next statement sequential kind of execution in blocking assignment whereas in non blocking assignment one statement does not block the execution of next statement because it is concurrent kind of assignment. Now see here, already I have written a code to explain. This is a blocking assignment, right? So the execution and evaluation is happen something like D will be assigned to Q. Let me take a different pane. Now D is assigned to Q. Then this Q will come here and then assign to Q2. Now this Q2 come here and this assigned to Q3. So this is what the sequential kind of execution. Whereas in non-blocking assignment, the execution is happening in concurrent. This D is assigning directly to Q1, whereas this Q1 is assigning to Q2 and this Q2 is assigning to Q3. This is what the sequential kind of execution. Sorry, the concurrent kind of execution and this is what the sequential kind of execution and order of this execution is important here in blocking whereas the order of execution is not important in non-blocking assignment because they are happening in concurrent okay now see the fourth point and uh, this blocking assignment is recommended for modeling combinational circuits whereas this non-blocking is recommended for modeling sequential circuits Blocking assignment is combinational circuit and this non-blocking is recommended for sequential circuit. Now we will see the programming part for blocking and non-blocking how swapping can be done. This is what the simple code I have written where I have declared a reg 8 bit a b two variables within initial begin I am just displaying the value of a b and now here I am assigning a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and after one time delay I am saying that a is equal to b and b is equal to a means b value is assigning to a and a value assigned to b now our expectation is a should be 6 and b should be 5 right swiping a should be 6, B should be 5. But in blocking assignment, this is not the case. After simulation, we will get the initial values A is equal to 5, B is equal to 5 as we have mentioned here. And after one time unit, we will get the value of A is equal to 6 and B is equal to also 6. We will see. Just... Uh, Put the command qvarilog file name 
and then simulator will do all the calculations automatically and we will get the result now observe the result carefully now see at zero time we have given a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 6 and after one we are saying do the swapping but we are getting a is equal to 5 and b is equal to a is equal to 6 and b is, is also 6 so this is what blocking is not uh, uh, swapping is not happening here so if we want to do the swapping using blocking assignment then what we need to do we need to declare two extra temporary resistors now see here i have declared two temporary resistors which are same size as a and b and within initial begin i am saying that a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and then i am assigning value of a to temporary resistor and value of b to temporary resistor and after one time unit i am saying b is equal to temp of a and a is equal to temp of b if you do the same thing then we will get the result of swiping after swapping we will get a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5 now see same command q very log find name and observe the result here as we are assigning at zero time a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and after one we are swapping then a is equal to 6 b is equal to 5 the swapping is done here but to temporary resistor we need to declare similarly if we want to do the swapping using non-blocking assignment then we can do it easily there is no need to define two temporary resistors see here same code two variables declared and initially i am providing a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and after one time unit b is assigning to a and a is assigning to b so here in non-blocking assignment there is no need to use temporary resistance and directly we will get the swapping result let me run the simulation and we will get the swapping result as a is equal to 5 v is equal to 6 at zero time unit then at one we will get a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5 let's see whether we are getting or not see at zero time unit we are saying that a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and after one time unit a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5 so the swapping is done here so in if you want to do the swapping using non-blocking assignment there is no need to take temporary resistors we have uh, whereas in in uh, that blocking assignment we need to take two temporary resistors to do the swapping so this is what all about blocking assignments and non-blocking assignments and we have taken a simple example and which is very frequently asked interview question how to do the swapping using blocking and non-blocking assignment so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching